Welcome back to Electrical Lectures channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the fundamental differences between solid and stranded cables. We're going to break it from the core differences in construction, cost, and their distinct applications. But before we dive deep into the technical details, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Let's start with first difference which is based on construction. Solid cables have a single continuous conductor made of a single piece of metal, usually copper. Whereas stranded cables consist of multiple smaller wires, twisted or braided together. Another difference is based on flexibility. Because of single solid conductor, solid cable is less flexible. Stranded cables are highly flexible and suitable for applications that require frequent bending and movement. Another difference is current carrying capability. Due to zero gap and less surface area for dissipation, the solid wire will carry more current than the stranded wire. Also the overall voltage drop is less due to larger area of conductor but it will heat up quickly. Stranded cable has low current capacity and more voltage drop due to small conductor area of individual strand but, due to air gap and large surface area of dissipation, it heats up much slower than solid cable. Another difference is based on application. Due to rigid and inflexible construction, solid cables are suitable for static installations where the cable won't be moved or bent frequently. Due to flexible nature, stranded cables are suitable for applications that require tight installations and frequent movement and bending. Solid cable is more durable and can withstand corrosion better than stranded cable. Solid cables are often more cost-effective. Whereas, stranded cables tend to be more expensive. I hope you understand the differences between stranded and solid cables. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.